What is up, YouTube? Dr. Video Game here. I'm here with um, my pickups for the last two weeks, and um, I'm going to start off with some gifts I got. I got a gift from a bunch of family members who were up at my grandma's house, and they found some stuff. They found Street Sports Basketball, Jill the Jungle, and Epic Pinball Crash and Burn on floppy disks. I'm not really sure what to think about these. I am not, don't really have a use for them, so um, they should be fun if I could ever get someone to play them. If not, I, they're open for trade for someone that I actually got a use for them. Uh, two computer games that are on discs that I'm kind of excited to get were Madden Football um, Limited Edition and SimCity Classic. Uh, just a lot of nostalgia here. Uh, I remember my brother always playing this, trying to make a team, but he was a horrible GM and could never get a team that was very good. And the SimCity Classic, I remember playing. I remember all the fire stations and police stations. It was literally like everyone in town had to be a fireman or a policeman. It was pretty hysterical. Uh, what happened next, I went to a yard sale uh, last Saturday, and I picked up two games, The Italian Job and SSX3. Um, they're both in pristine condition. I'm very happy to have picked these up. They're in like not even touch manuals, the discs or don't even have scratches on them. It's like they weren't played. It's like they just sat in some storage. Uh, what else I got is I went to a tags, not tags, a flea market that day. I got F15 Strike Eagle 3 or 2 uh, for the Genesis. I haven't been able to test this out yet. I just, it's a game I didn't have, saw, and I, and I was mildly interested because I like collecting for Genesis. I got Sky Shark, Top Gun, and Rocket Ranger for the NES. I know I don't have an NES yet, but she was offering a dollar per game, and I got these along with four sports games because she didn't really have a wide selection, but a dollar game, I can't really turn games down. Uh, so these are the three not sports games. I don't really have much information on NES games because I don't really research the NES since I don't have it, but um, it should be fun if I ever get one. I got um. NES Play Action Football, Ice Hockey, and 10 Yard ten yard Fight, and Goal for the NES as well. All sports titles, but um, they're decent sports titles at that, and it's, I don't know, <laughs> more games for a cheap price. Uh, also, when I was at that flea market, I went over to a DVD seller, just looking at some DVDs. Didn't really pick out any DVDs I wanted, but I saw this in their DVDs, uh, God of War. It was a great pickup because she only is charging two dollars. It's missing its manual sadly and the disc isn't in the greatest of shape. However, the disc plays perfectly as I when I tested it and it's gonna be it's good pickup because I didn't have it in my opinion. Uh, what I, happened next is I got a package in the mail that day. Um, I spent $25 on this on eBay. Person listed it as is. I thought hey I take the risk. Because even if it was just the games that you're going to see, uh, it'd be quite worth it. So I'm going to give a couple hints to what it is. There are two consoles, ten games, both handhelds, and they came in this bag. Okay, that's, those aren't very good hints. But they were two consoles that competed with each other, older, and I didn't have them. Uh, I'll start off with one of them. I got the Nintendo Game Boy and the instruction manual. This one has two lines that go down the screen, uh, but I heard that's a very easy fix. So as soon as I get to try a wing screwdriver, I'm going to try to fix it. Uh, this console came with two games, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, and Donkey Kong, both in great condition. And I was testing them out, and I love playing both of them so far. I played them on my Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo, so <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can guess the other game console yet. Uh, it was the Sega Game Gear and its instruction manual. I like how both consoles came with the instruction manual, it's just kind of neat. Uh, the console is starting to dim down just a bit, but completely playable. Still holds all the fun it would have in the past. And it came with eight games. I'll get through the games now. The Simpsons Bart vs. the World and Cool Spot. I tested the Simpsons so far. And The Simpsons was, um, it was a kind of a weird platformer, I wasn't very into it. And Cool Spot, or Cool Spot, I just tested to see if it worked, I never really got to when it's playing it. Also came with Sonic Chaos and The Lion King. Uh, Sonic Chaos, of course, is the classic Sonic game, it was, it's very fun. The Lion King, I 
tested to see if it works, haven't really played it. Um, got the Adams Family and Ariel the Little Mermaid. Haven't, test, haven't really played either. I tested them both. Uh, they both work fine, but you know, they're two games that came in a lot, so I can't really complain. Pac Man and Sonic the Hedgehog 2, uh, along with Sonic and Tails. I'm not really sure if it's both games, but it's very fun. And Pac Man, of course, is fun. It's just a classic Pac Man right there. So, those two games are very fun to pick up. And the cool thing is, a lot of these games came with manuals. Five of them did. The Adams Family. The Simpsons Bart vs. the World, which is a huge manual for some reason. I'm not sure really what's in there. The Lion King, cool spot, and Sonic the Hedgehog, all very cool to get in man get manuals for. And you know, they just they're just cool little collector's pieces to go along with the game. So moving on to what happened this weekend so far, which is today. Um, I got three DS games out of the yard sale. I mean I hit like eight yard sales, found three DS games. There was also MLB The Show for the PSP. Didn't really want to pick that up. Star Wars The Clone Wars, Deal or No Deal, and Lego Battles. I already have Lego Battles, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this copy. Uh, the other copy I had is slightly better condition, plus my copy has the manual. So this copy is probably going to be given off in a contest, a uh, trade, something. Uh, deal or No Deal, I mean, it'll be fun to fool around with. Not really expecting a lot. And Star Wars or Clone Wars, I'm not sure if this game is supposed to be good or bad. Star Wars games sometimes have value, so I was like, maybe that game will make it all worth it. But the impressive thing about this is she charged me two bucks for three games. So I got them all for a very good price. And that's about that. Next, what I got is I went to a church, church yard sale and church sale. Not sure what, what I would consider it. But it came with, um, I got a PlayStation Port. PlayStation 2 for $15. The fat model, it's a little um, dusty, uh, but it has it works. I tested it out. Um, works actually really well. And what is impressive about the 15 bucks is it came with two controllers. I know these aren't uh, main brand, but I was interested because it had the turbo. So I'm not sure what the turbo really does, but it's kind of cool to just to have on there. Um, and plus, I needed a second controller, but now I have two more, so that's always cool. And I can always sell off a console with one of these controllers. Probably throw in one of my games and make forty bucks. Uh, so that's a good pickup, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it though, because I kind of want to have a um, fat and a slim model. Uh, what happened next is I received a package today. I was given a gift card to. Uh, weird gaming site called JJ Games and I decided hey I'll check that out. Uh, I had 10 bucks off so I spent I think I spent 30 so I spent 20 and I came away with some games in here. Uh, I'm gonna start off with what console should I start off with? I'll start off with the Game Boy Advance. I'm gonna run away with four games for the Game Boy Advance. Duel Masters, Kai Judo Showdown, Frogger Adventures, Backyard, Basketball, and Quad Desert Fury. Um, I know these aren't very valuable ones. None of the games you'll see in this box are ultra valuable, but it's always cool to pick up games, especially for a console you got a small collection for. So, yeah. Um, what happened next is I'll show my Genesis pickups. Got Menacer. I'm not really sure what to expect in this game. I got Jam It, which I'm not really sure what to expect in this game. I'm pretty sure Jam is a sports game, though. But, um, in my opinion, I love the Genesis. I love the games on the Genesis, so I can't have gone, couldn't have gone too wrong with that. Next, what I got is I got two GameCube games. Uh, Shark Tales and World Tour. Uh, they're both complete. Shark Tales is like ultra complete with more than just the manual as well. Oh, they actually both are. I haven't checked the condition of the discs. They're actually in very good condition. I know these aren't valuable games, but this doubles my GameCube collection actually, which I I find that impressive. Um, what I got next, I'll do PlayStation One. 
Why did this not come to case? This is supposed to come to case. Well, I got Largo Wing Commando Star. Um, got this because it was a complete game for a very good price. The discs in actually very good shape. Um, doesn't even look like it was resurfaced either. So there's a PlayStation One game. I'm not really sure what you do. Oh, it's like a third person, kind of like a golden eye almost. I would say from looking at it, maybe not. And then I got Spec Ops Covert Assault. Uh, I'm not really sure what to think about this game, but um, it was cheap on the site, and I decided, hey, it's, I should try to boost some collections. Crab, that looks like it needs a new case because the case is like off-colored almost. It'll work for now though. Um, I'll go to 64 next. I have three N64 games, nothing all that great. Uh, two of the games, or one of the games? One of the games I got because I gave it off as a gift with a 64 I picked up to my brother, uh, Mission Impossible. I know this isn't a great game, but I just kind of wanted it back because I hate giving up games. I got Automobili Lamborghini. Uh, it's just a racing game I didn't have. And I decided I had to get Madden 64 eventually, so get it over with now. Maybe I won't see it at a yard sale. <laughs> so there's Madden 64. Um, next is Super Nintendo, which I got the most games for. Uh, nothing great. So I'll try to get through this kind of quickly because I know you guys won't really want to see. Boonswick World Tournament Champions. Uh, bowling game. Not really sure what to think about it. John Madden Football. Uh, it's a minty label of John, John Madden Football, which is uh, from the 93 version. So, um, I guess, I don't know. Jeopardy Sports Edition. Um, I'll never be able to solve that because I don't know sports very well from the 90, early 90s. Uh, unless it comes up with some you know, basketball questions, then I might be able to answer it. Uh, Nigel, Nigel Menzel's World Champions. A racing game, kind of more real racing game, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like playing it. It was more just to help boost my collection. John Madden Football, the original John Madden Football. So that's, in my opinion, a very cool pickup. I got Virtual Pool. Uh, championship Pool, not Virtual Pool. Uh, I just thought it was interesting because it wasn't really a sports game, kind of is a sports game, but it was cheap on the website, MLBPA Baseball, and just a baseball game. I don't really know what I'm going to, I don't think I'll ever play it, but it's cool to help boost the collection. And then I got one more game, one second. I got Madden 94. Uh, I guess get rid of all the Madden games now, maybe I won't see my DR sales, same exact thing. Uh, so, I got a lot of games this week, or the last two weeks. I know they're not the greatest games, but they'll, they'll do for now. <laughs> I'm actually more than ecstatic for the pickups I had. And um, so this is Dr. Video Game. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Do what you got to do if you like my channel. Uh, I'll see you guys all next video. This took me six times to film, so if at times that seemed unenthusiastic, that was why. And thank you all for being fans. Uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.